Let's combine some previous modeling tips and see how far we can optimize mesh. My name is West 72 and welcome to Painfinity. Today will not be a video revamp, but instead a combination of what we've learned in the previous lessons. I'll show you today how to optimize my mesh for a lightweight but visually identical result. For that, we'll start with a plane and from there we'll rotate it 90 degrees on X and subdivide it twice in edit mode. I want an inner detail rounded at the top, so let me subdivide the top edge and target well the last vertex, then select the faces to insert them. The trick I'll show you requires the origin to be at the bottom left because I'll use a combination of array and mirror for the mesh to extend on both sides. To avoid any stretch, I usually put a crease to the support edge loop. To make the cylindrical shape, all I have to do is to create a subsurf, then a 363 simple deform in band. Now we have our final shape, but let's see if optimization can be done. The benefits of this technique is that during the entire process, the mesh stays flat and the simple deform takes care of the revolve and because the subsurf manages the necessary amount of geometry to avoid pinching, we can remove a substantial amount of edges to have a more optimized geometry that is visually identical. Usually, from what I observe, with this technique you can reduce up to 50% the necessary amount of geometry with the same visual on a cylindrical shape. If you want a more in-depth explanation about the decision I made, how to level up your selection technique and speed up your workflow by 200% with the default tools in Blender, stay tuned for the Mesh Master. I wish you a great day and until the next video, work hard, smart and with a lot of fun. This is Westlef for Penfinity, signing off.